Good morning, happy Saturday. I am just kind of finishing up my morning routine. On a Saturday morning, I am like trying to relax as much as possible, but with two kids, that's obviously a little difficult, especially when one of them is a crazy little toddler. If you're judging me for drinking an iced coffee out of a mug, don't try it for yourself before you want to judge anyone. I got a pebble ice maker and it has changed the game. I have a code for you that I will link down below and I'll talk more about my ice maker later. For now I have 30 minutes that I need to use to clean everything up before I have somewhere to be. So we are going to try to clean up the bedroom. It's a disaster. There are clothes everywhere. The bed's not made. Should take no longer than like three minutes to do that. And then I need to unload the dishwasher, reload the dishwasher with anything that's dirty, and then get another load of laundry going because I've not done my own laundry in too long. I got everything that I wanted to clean up, cleaned up, and I have a load in the washer and the dryer right now, so I'll be able to do more laundry when we get home. But I need to go run some errands, so I'm going to make myself a vitamin water for the road. So I'm 100% someone who needs at least two beverages at a time. It's usually coffee and water, and they're both usually iced. And then this is just like a fun treat beverage, and I love that I can use my Gevy ice maker for it. It is a game changer in my house. We all love the ice that it makes. It's like crunchy, chewable. It's basically Sonic Ice at your house. It's honestly quieter than I expected it to be. I thought it'd be kind of like a loud appliance to have sitting in the kitchen. The one thing I will say is that it's big and it's heavy. It takes up a lot of counter space. The good thing about this ice maker is you can get it in colors that match your kitchen and match your aesthetic. It's really easy to use. I thought that it was going to be kind of complicated. I did not hook mine into my fridge, but you can. I just fill it up with water myself. So you can just take a little pitcher of water, dump it in, and then it starts making the pellet ice. If it melts, it will recycle that water and use it again. I have a code that you guys can use and I will link it down below and put it up on the screen for you. They do sell on their website as well as on Amazon and they have a Black Friday sale coming up where you can get an extra percentage off if you use my code. So definitely go check them out if you're in the market for a nugget ice maker. I do recommend this one. It's been great for me so far. I've used it for weeks and I love it. If you do shop using my link, I get a small percentage of commission for you using it, but you also get a big discount for using my link as well. And thank you so much to Gevy for sending me my nugget ice maker. I am obsessed with it and it's something that I definitely use on a daily basis and it would be perfect for holidays perfect for holiday drinks. JP is actually taking over my drink so he's gonna drink that and we are going to head to meet my parents. I kind of forgot I needed food so I am at Chick-fil-A. JP ate before we left but um, I did not so I'm driving through Chick-fil-A right now. The reason that Levi's not here on someone's coming we are almost at our first stop of the day. My husband's a high school football coach and they have a playoff game tonight, which is kind of crazy. I'm not going to go to it. I'm just going to stream it online. So instead, I'm coming up to Chattanooga and doing a couple of errands that I need to run. The first thing that I'm doing is looking for some shoes for JP. I also really want these uh, like sweatpants from Old Navy that they have. They're like joggers. So I just want to go see them in person. They're right beside um, Nordstrom Rack, which is where I'm looking for JP's shoes. So I'm going to go do that. And then, I, and then obviously I also need to go to Target. I'm going to put some money on a Disney gift card there. So that's the plans. We might add something to it. We might make another stop, but that's the plans for now.
That was honestly a pretty successful day of shopping. I'll give you a little haul when I get home. Um, we're gonna head there now. It's about five o'clock, so we have two and a half hours until the game starts, and I think I'm gonna cook like a Hello Fresh tonight, or something maybe like frozen, just because it's me by myself. I don't really wanna cook a whole meal, so we'll see what we get into, but let's head home. We spent the afternoon in Chattanooga, and we went to Nordstrom Rack, Target, DSW, and Old Navy. And we only got a couple things, but I'll show you what we got. We didn't end up getting anything from Old Navy because the line was incredibly long. And then we didn't get anything from DSW because we were looking for shoes and we found them at Nordstrom Rack instead. So we got JP some shoes. So let me show you those. Got him a little mini pair of Uggs, basically to match mine. He loves them. He's obsessed. He actually tried these on a couple weeks ago and he loved them so much. He didn't want to leave the store. So... I was like, okay, we'll go back and get them. If he still wants them, then they're his. So we went there, he tried them on, he didn't wanna leave. I was like, let's go check DSW, see if they have anything there that I like better. Um, or that was like in a size eight, because I got him these in a size seven, but he's like between a seven and an eight, I think, whatever. So they didn't have any size eights at Nordstrom Rack. They had nothing at DSW, actually. So then we went back and he still wanted the boots, so we got them for him. Also from there, we got some Nike socks, just like high Nike socks, because he needs to wear these with the Uggs. If not, his feet will stink so bad. And then the only other place we got something from was from Target, and Target had so much Christmas stuff. It was chef's kiss. We ended up getting this from the dollar spot. This will be one of the things that he gets in his little like advent calendar. I think I'm gonna do an advent calendar this year instead of like a one day Christmas box that he opens up. I just think it'd be fun for him to open something up and either get like an experience or like a little thing like this every day of December. So this is gonna go in that, it was a dollar. Then I obviously got my two $50 Disney gift cards because that's what I went there for, so got those. And the last thing I saw, I just literally had to have. How cute is he? He was $15 and he can be set like on, off, or to a timer. So if he's off, look, he's just still so adorable. But then you can turn him on or you can turn him on a timer. So I love him. I am obsessed with these like outside Santas that look like this are like vintage and they're perfect. They have them at Lowe's and They're you know, like four feet tall or whatever. Me and Lou, I talked about how much we love these the other day and I was like mm, might as well get one for inside because I just came across it and had to have it But I am the clumsiest person in the world and I've already dropped him. So He still works and then this was not something that I bought but my mom got JP this little Drawing thing that glows. I don't I don't know. He really wanted it she got it for him. I almost forgot, super random, I went to the Dollar General today and they had this tiny little snow globe that I'm also gonna put, it won't focus. There we go. All right, you get the picture. Um, tiny snow globe, $1. I'm gonna put that as one of the days of the advent calendar as well. And that is it for my haul. Playoff game is at 7.30 tonight and we're gonna be streaming it because I did not want to go in person. It's cold, it's like hours away. We're just gonna watch it on like the streaming service that we have. So I think it's time to go get Christmas decorations from the attic. Let's do it. You can't go in the attic though. You're too little. You can't go to the attic. You're too little for the attic. I seriously think this ice machine would be like perfect for a camper. My mom and dad camp all the time and they would love one of these in their camper. Gotta top myself off with the rest of my vitamin water. Go get this tree. This one's heavy. I'm exhausted. We will be getting more decor out and doing more decorations later, but for today, I just got this box and a Christmas tree. Got a lot more to work with, but for right now, I'm just getting this box out. I'm just gonna unpack it and see what we have. I'm so excited. Infant Christmas hat. This is the Christmas hat that's gonna fit Cameron. I love that. We already have JP's Christmas hat out, so the toddler Christmas hat is already out. He's been wearing it. Next up, we have this little cookie tin. It's like a Snoopy Peanuts cookie tin, and inside of it, we have our Lego Hogwarts Express that me and Libab built. A stocking. I don't, we didn't use these stockings last year. I think I just used this to wrap 
glass in. Um, my favorite holiday cheermeister shirt. Love that. Night Before Christmas book. The Nightmare Before Christmas book is going in a stack with things that I think I'll use for the advent calendar because I will use that for December 24th. I guess I thought this bag was really cute. I saved it. A little door hanger. This might go in the front door. Another Christmas bag. I guess I just didn't feel like putting it in the box full of Christmas bags. Adorable. This is just like a cookie tin that we got from Levi's Nana. Like she puts actual cookies in these. And we've had this for a couple of years and I think it's so cute just to like layer and stack. You're gonna find out that my mugs are like everywhere in this box because I honestly just took random things like Santa hats and t-shirts and wrapped mugs in them. So we'll be pulling out mugs randomly. This is a teapot from my grandmother and I do not like to put it anywhere that JP can reach it because he will break it. Um, yes, love these. I don't have batteries in them right now, but they're just little lights. I got them from the Target dollar section probably like five years ago. They still work. They're battery operated. Old Santa. Christmas countdown. How many days is it till Christmas? Should I do a Christmas countdown or should I do my Disney countdown first? We'll see. I have a bunch of different Christmas countdowns, so honestly, I'm just gonna make a stack of them. Okay, the game is starting. I need to log on so I can watch that. Levi's computer sitting right here, so I'm gonna watch it on this. All right, back to it. I have this tree. I love this tree. Um, sometimes I put it this way, so it's just plain wood. Sometimes I put it this way, so it has like a snowy design. Another mug, another bag. I got these ornament zippers from Walmart like three, four years ago, and I love them. The green ones are so Christmassy. The like normal, like silver ones look like the Epcot ball, so we love that. That'll go in the drink category, I guess. Candles! Okay, I have candy cane and cream. Better Homes and Gardens, it smells so good. Evidently we love this one. This is Balsam and Birch, Better Homes and Gardens. So this book came from Walmart. And another Better Homes and Gardens. Oh, I remember I got these in a three pack last year. This one is good, Vanilla Bean and Myrrh. This went to some kind of like light, but I don't, I don't know. I just use it as a tree that stands up. Another Santa mug. This one's actually like really kind of older. It was my grandmother's and she gave it to me because I'm the only person who is obsessed with mugs in my family somehow. Like, I feel like that's a common obsession. Why am I the only one? This is JP's craft from last year at school. That's so cute. Okay, I don't know if you can see how cute this is, like, or if you have to see it in person because this is the cutest mug I've ever seen. All right, we got a Santa hat. And from within the Santa hat emerges a gingerbread mug, which is also adorable. Love that. This is from Target. I have some pink bottle brush trees that I've had for a while from Target. They came from like the dollar section and they're like decently sized. I don't know how much longer I should keep these because they're a little, they're a little sad, but this is a tree from Target that I absolutely love. And I think JP will like it because it's small and we can, we've never like put any kind of like twinkly lights on this, but if we do this year, I think he would love that. So we might just do that. We've got this snowman that stands up. Some more fun little trees from the Target dollar spot. I need to like fix these. Another Christmas countdown. Another Christmas countdown. Someone got this one for me. The last one was from Target. Have more Christmas books. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That came from Costco. And then this one is the Polar Express. This is another tiny little teapot from my grandmother. It matches like the whole Santa vibes. Love this. Again, something that I have to put away from JP's reach. <gasps> what the heck? What the heck? Bunch of Christmas stuff. A little Christmas board book. JP, you wanna read this? And then I have this. It's like a little Christmas tree shelf. Battery operated lights that are obviously dead. This little Mickey Mouse Pez dispenser. Santa cookie plate. I thrifted this a couple years ago. Okay, and here we have a snow globe that Levi's grandmother got for us last year. And it plays music. We have our first casualty of the year, guys. My elf snow globe broken when I got it out. All right, so that's everything from this box. So we are gonna go try to figure out where we can put these, but we also need to get the Christmas tree out. So that's the plan. Also, we're about to get scored on again. It's not going well.
halftime of the game and I finally got JP to sleep. So that's great because he was in the fussiest little mood. So he's asleep, Cameron's fed, and we can finally get to actually putting these Christmas decorations somewhere. There's a lot here and I just don't know where I want to put everything. I know that I'm gonna put some garland up on the mantle, so I'm not gonna put anything up there. And then other than that, I think I'm gonna clear off this coffee bar right here and make it complete Christmas decoration. So this just feels like it's missing something. Like, I don't know if it just needs something practical over here, like a coffee maker or something to like tie it together and make it seem like it should be a thing. But this is what we have for now. We'll see. There's actually a lot that I've decided not to put out this year, specifically like breakable things. So I actually packed up a lot of stuff and I'm just gonna put it back in the attic because I'm not, I'm not excited about putting it out this year. So I'm only gonna put out what I absolutely love and what I don't think is gonna get broken. So, so far this is what we have. First of all, two sleeping babies. Over here I just have this warmer that's from Walmart. I got that this year so it should still be there. And then I just have some Disney pictures that stay on this wall hung up with Christmas lights. So I plugged those in. Here is the tree that is not fluffed yet. Over here on the bookshelves, I just added a tree, this little Rudolph, some books, and then my candle beside my lamp here. And then the coffee bar, or the used to be coffee bar, is basically all Christmas decorations now and my drink that I almost finished all of. I also added the lights up here and a couple Christmas trees up on the shelf above the coffee station. I need to like actually fix these lights cause they're kind of all over the place right now, but it's fine. Above the sink, I just put a little Santa, a Christmas countdown and a tree. And then beside the sink, we have my favorite little wooden tree that I could turn this way or this way. And then over at the coffee station, I do have this gingerbread mug. I think he is absolutely adorable. That's pretty much it for now. I am actually not gonna put up anything else out of that box. I think the only other thing that I really need is garland and lights out of the attic. I think like more simple is gonna be better this year. I did end up turning the football game off and putting on some like Christmas ambiance because we were getting absolutely destroyed. So I think I'm gonna put the kids to bed and then head to bed myself. I think it was pretty productive what we've gotten done so far today. And tomorrow I do think I'm gonna get that garland down and start putting it up because at this point we're just full send into Christmas. I mean, we are under 50 days until Christmas day. So like might as well just go for it. But that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and I will see you in the next video. Good night!